Hi, it's Cindy. Hi, it's Vega. Ooh, there's going to be a spoiler alert. <laughs> well, why don't we just say it in the beginning? The whole video is a spoiler. <laughs> it's like it's hard to pinpoint all the different spoilers. We're just we're just letting it out. <laughs> Should I bring my other books down then, the ones that I have read? Do it. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back. I brought my Kindle too. <laughs> I did e read some ebooks, mm-hmm. an audiobook. <laughs> I still haven't tried audiobook, and then they said it like you can get two free audiobooks, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know because I need to like follow along though. No, Indy, I promise you. I mean, maybe, maybe you would have to like just sit there and concentrate on the words Mm -hmm. instead of like doing stuff and listening to it, but it's fine. I I had that, the same reservations. If you have like a free one, why not just try try it? it. Yeah, I know. Uh, (laughs) I'll look for one. So, what have you been reading this month? A lot. Oh my god. I don't goodness. even know where to start. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Well, other than the ones that we read. What genres? Too. What genres have you been reading? Well, dark fantasy and Ooh. contemporary. <laughs> I've been so into contemporary lately like I've been on a roll with that and I, it was supposed to be dark fantasy month but it got like too much mm-hmm. sometimes the thing what I like about contemporary is it's like light you know and mm-hmm. then it is fantasy, it gets like, like dramatic a little bit so I'm just like Ugh, I can't I can't stand too much drama all the time yeah. like I was reading it over and over and then I was like okay no I, I have to I have to stop it's like half half so mm-hmm. I did like dark fantasy the first half of the month, <laughs> and then like I oh. went on a contemporary binge, and <laughs> I, I started Dark Lover. So I'm back to that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> any good ones or any bad ones? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> you already know what is it? The Hades trials. Oh my gosh. Is it just the character un- unlikability? I don't know. The story didn't just it didn't get me like mm. other ones. Like, I wasn't really engaged in it. And, like, yeah, the characters really, really made a difference. Like, first of all, like I said, the main girl, or Persephone, she was just so, so annoying in the beginning. Like, the first two books, she was so annoying. And then the last one obviously got better because it was, like, tying everything up. But, like, the first two books, she was so, like, angry. And she would blame Hades for everything. And I was like... It's not even his fault, you know, like, and you're taking everything out on him. And usually, like, the main guys overpower the annoyingness of the females that Mm -hmm. I can, like, get through the book. But he was, like, so underwhelming. Like, they didn't play him (gasps) up enough. So, you know, I was just like, it it was terrible. (laughs) Like, I don't start reading things that I don't think I'll like. So most things I like reading, but this one was, like, a bad choice. Oh, any books that you like? For like fantasy? Yes. Like I told you, the Bargainer. Okay. The oh, Bargainer oh, series. Did you read it yet? It's still oh, yeah. free. <laughs> on, my, on my Kindle. <laughs> I love it. Wait, what is yeah, it? Yeah, I, I love that one. It's about a, a fairy. No, not a fairy. A fae. <laughs> it's about a fae and a girl who's. I think it a, is a, a fae is a fairy, right? I don't know. But then again, like, I feel like fae are kind of like you know, like elves too in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Is that where Orlando Bloom was uh, an elf? <laughs> I don't even remember. Is yeah, that Legolas. it? Yeah, Legolas, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel like they are too sometimes, oh. except with wings. I don't know, <laughs> that's what I imagine. <laughs> but yeah, the, the bargainer. Yeah, it's about, um, so, He's a fae. You are fae's right now. I or- am. Well, I'm like into the fantasies that have more than like one species. I don't know, creatures. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to call them. But yeah, fae's I really like. Maybe because I like 
Legolas. <laughs> Legolas. <laughs> I do. I I love like stories like that. Yeah. So he's he's a fae. She's a siren. But um, she, they met when she was seventeen. I don't remember when she was still in high school because she did some thing and need his help and then he's also like called the bargainer so basically he like trades favors for for favors i guess yeah so he'll help you but then he's gonna take his like payment back later but it's gonna be like worth more than what the favor he gave you kind of thing like with but interest. not to her <laughs> with interest. You gotta pay yeah back yes interest. yes that's exactly it and so she gets into trouble and she finds his card and then so she asks him to help her and it's not like urban fantasy so it is like in yeah the real world. Mm. it's in the real world and then half in the in the fae world so oh. it's like half half so I, I like it it's kind of more in the fae world but yeah it does start in the oh, real it's... world yeah it's kind of similar to um house of earth and blood Oh. where they travel like through ley lines to get to the other world kind of thing so anyways <laughs> so yeah so you know she was really grateful for him and then he he actually did that favor for her for free because you know he realized you know like why she did it and stuff so that that first favor he did for her it was for free but she like she has no friends she has no family and so she was lonely and like the only person that she knew was the bargainer so she kept yeah so basically she kept on calling him for like small favors and it accumulated to like hundreds of favors from him oh. she just asked him to basically spend some time with her and so she kept doing it for like about a year <laughs> yeah so um but then one day he leaves and then it's like seven years later. So he comes to go collect her debt. For him. Ooh, okay, yeah. so now he's like in her mid 20s. And... Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so he starts collecting. And yeah. <gasps> it's really so good. <laughs> you should read it. Okay, the writing, like I said, the writing wasn't my favorite because it was kind of like not flowy in some parts only like for me personally but this the plot is really good like i really like the that, plot that sounds like a... and like the the characters are good too like he's really good okay like, <laughs> the romance between them is so good too and it's like it's steamy you know like <laughs> what i like what i know you like <laughs> it's steamy without like I don't know. It's not. It's not too dramatic either. It's like one central conflict, and it like builds up to that till the end. There's several books for this, right? Yeah, there's three. It's a trilogy. Oh. Okay. So, like everything gets resolved, you know. Obviously, on the third book, but it's like I like the build up. It's kind of like uh -huh. oh, you know, like you want to know what happens next and like what's happening. There is a character flaw though for the for the girl, but I think it's worth it. Like it's not it's not terrible. Okay, it's, I'm excited. I want to read it. Yeah, I, you should read that. Then <laughs> <laughs> what else? What else? Let me see what else is on my Kindle. I read um a cute contemporary one the other day. I wanted to read more contemporary, but I'm like I feel like I'm in a reading rut, even though okay, like this month. I was like, oh, I haven't been reading that much. But then I realized I'm still reading um, House of Earth and Blood. I read The Alchemist, Dark Lover, Hating Game, The Sun and Her Flowers, and an audiobook. And I was like, wait a minute, when did I read all these books? <laughs> all like within the last month? Like the start of October. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Wait, where You're are not this? in a reading rut. <laughs> because this is like, this is a lot, this one. Dark Lover. Oh yeah, that one took me a while. I think it yeah. took me... It took me a week. <laughs> it took me a week to read this, like... Yeah. But... It was cute. Oh, and this is one of the... One of the smaller books. I think oh. like the later books are 600 pages. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 
I mean, this one, I understand. This one was, this one was tough too. Oh my gosh. It's like, still, <laughs> I'm not, hold on. It took me two weeks to read the first like hundred pages. I know. <laughs> but after you reach that, that point in the book, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> then it's like, like I couldn't stop reading after, after that me point. Me too. What? But I stopped because of the trip. I was getting ready oh. to go on the trip and then I stopped and then I had other books. <sighs> so now I'm like, what is it? I'm stagnant oh. on that book. And it's like, I know. So now it's intimidating because I'm only on page like 400 out of 800. God. That's not but bad. I, 400, you're halfway. I cheated a little though. <laughs> <laughs> So, that's that's probably partly why I don't want to read with the rest of it because I already know what happened from that. <laughs> okay, let's get back on it. Oh, what? Oh, the contemporary that you're talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, the one on here. And move it. Um, this one. I temporarily do. That one is cute. Oh, I temporarily. It's like it's free to download on Kindle, like oh, to buy, okay. free to buy. Like it's not even part of Kindle Unlimited, it's just free to buy. And it's like, okay, I temporarily do by Ellie Cahill. Yeah, that one, that one is cute. Okay, there was, it's a trilogy, but I only got the first and the third <laughs> because this, oh. the second one, I was like, I don't even know who it's about. <laughs> or maybe I wouldn't oh, like so it's, it well. It's about different people. Yeah, well, it's, um, so this one, uh, it's so cute. I don't even know where to start. Like, I'm so bad at retelling stories, yeah. but okay, this one, it's about, um, it's about, it's a, it's like a friends to lovers thing. And it was like, man, this was what I was looking for. It's so cute. So the girl in it, she like, um, gets scammed <gasps> by like a Craigslist roommate. So basically she was supposed to finish grad school in a different state. And then she was looking for a roommate on Craigslist. And then it turns out the roommate was like some kind of scammer. <laughs> and anyways, the roommate took off with her deposit, took all her, I don't know how she took all the money out of her bank account, but what? yeah, basically stole the money from the main girl's bank account. So like she's broke and she's homeless. And like before she moved, she's go moving to the other state for grad school. Like she was living in an apartment with like six roommates and it's like three guys and three girls. <laughs> oh! <Yeah. Hey>. So, <laughs> it's cute though. It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> Take your word for it. So it's between the, um, the three guys and the three girls? No. Well, I think the second book might be about one of the guys and then his girlfriend. Oh. I didn't read the name very I didn't read the name right so I don't I don't know but I was I didn't see any names I recognized so I was like okay wait no I, I don't think That's I'm gonna read it enough. and then the third book is like I have to I have to talk about this one to talk about the third one but the third one the first and the third for sure connect but anyways the the guy like he got engaged to his long-term girlfriend and like on that same day that she got scammed um, basically he, his girlfriend like broke up with him. She said she can't do it. Like she can't get married and like move to that. Cause she was supposed to transfer to his school that he's going to grad long school for. Long distance. Long distance. Yes. They were long distance, but they were like, um, high school sweethearts. So yeah. So they both went through something, you know, terrible that same day. And like for him, he actually was signed up for like marriage married housing at the school so now he's not married and like he he's not gonna have a place to live if they're not married <laughs> so but yeah so basically the the main guy and the main girl like get married just to stay in the married housing because she has nowhere to go like she has no money and no house but he happens to have a house but no wife <laughs> so they get married and then um how they turn from friends to 
Lovers. Okay, that sounds cute. It's, I like it's that. So cute. It, it's That's cute, and it's not fun. like, yeah, it's not very vanilla either. So <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. I don't know. The guy is just so nice, and it's it's cute. Okay, so this one, obviously, they're married, right? So mm -hmm. it's not really spoiling it if I say they decide to get, really get married. Obviously, mm -hmm. that's how romance novels romance. are, right? They're very cliche, and that's why I read them, because I like it. <laughs> yes, happily ever after. I am so here for it. Yes, it, it's cliche, but obviously, they're going to get married for real. Well, actually, it's not like they're not going to get married for real. They're already married for real. They mm -hmm. they have a marriage license and everything. <laughs> not to separate kind of thing. yeah they decide not to separate and like have a real wedding at the end so basically this ends with them and their real wedding and this one is like the friends reuniting for their wedding mm. yeah so the third book is about the it's a it's mostly about an, two of their other roommates but they're they're in it like the ones from the first book are in it because they're Love all that. they're all there for the wedding <laughs> basically yeah. so it's cute yeah. i like them but okay i have to say with this one there were like so many typos like the wrong words were used in certain places and then like i don't know you'll when you read it it's like it's not just one or two because you know a, a lot of books there's like one or two typos whatever it's like a lot like you're reading it and i'm like Okay, there's a typo here, and then the next chapter, there's a typo there. This one has so many typos, it's kind of like... <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, it's still good. I would still read it, because the story is cute, but... Yeah, we're here yeah. for the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's yeah. all. That's what I read. I mean, for my Kindle, that's good. And then, I've read these <laughs> other other contemporaries, but they just didn't cut it for me. Hmm. Okay, this one, this one was okay. I was going to buy that one. You deserve it. <laughs> yeah. This one was, this one was cute. I mean, it, it's funny, but I like this one a lot better. It's like a similar, like... Oh, is it? Because... Well, it's like, yeah, lovers to enemies to lovers for this one. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sarah Hogel, I think she has a new book coming out soon, too. It's cute, like, towards the This end. one's cute. I mean, I like it, but I don't like it as much as The Hating Game. I, but this one, I, out of these, like, out of these three that I read, this one's the best. I mean, the only thing is about this one, like, the, the main girl has, like, such a character flaw. Like, I mean, it's not it's not major, I guess. It's, it's whatever. It's just, I would read it again. I mean, it's cute. <laughs> but... <laughs> Out of those three that you read, out of those three, yeah. So I, I would recommend it if if you like it. Like I would recommend, I, I would recommend this one. But these ones, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, it's cute, but like you know, I need I need more. And it was kind of boring. <laughs> okay, this one was this one was funny. You told me about that it was so fun. Like so it was so funny, but like the romance wise, it was like lacking to me. You know, I, I like it a little steamy. <laughs> so it wasn't, like, wasn't. It wasn't. Mm. But it's funny. If you like something light, uh, you're not looking for smutty, then this one's good. This one, I mean, the smut is not great, but I mean, it's like, it's cute. You know, it has like at least one, one time. <laughs> this one has like, no times. <laughs> yeah. So you deserve each other. It's like they're married, right? Or they're engaged yeah, yeah they're engaged and then like she she realized like she can't stand him because she hasn't been her true self i don't know he's cute though he's cute i would i said i would recommend this this okay. one's cute yeah i would read it it's, it's funny it's cute um well she thinks that you know like he he wants to call off the wedding too so she's like she doesn't want to be the first one to call it off. She wants to make him call it off. So they're like, they start messing with each other. But basically they start being themselves, you know? Like she stops, she stops pretending to be the perfect Aww. girlfriend. And cute. it it was, it was cute and it's funny. Like I read this one pretty quickly too. 
it's not this one was pretty steamy you know oh my God. wasn't it right yeah. <laughs> this one was pretty steamy this one is like a, a lighter version but it's not like there wasn't anything so it's cute and then this one it was cute but it was like boring okay there was like a steamy kiss and i was like oh maybe there's gonna be more later it wasn't it wasn't uh, and i mean it's it's light so it was it's not terrible it was not a terrible read i don't know maybe it's someone else's cup of tea. Your cup of tea it wasn't mine but it's cute i mean i don't regret it so i don't regret it like the hades trials <laughs> <laughs> Like your your standard of like it was because like when when they're both unbearable I just can't those are those are all and then the ones that you read too uh, I read <laughs> I basically only read the ones that we read together and then the alchemist which is so out of my comfort zone was a very easy read it's only 163 pages. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. And I marked so many like favorite parts. My green, <laughs> I love the color green. There's so many favorite parts. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's about a man who's trying to to find his treasure, and then he meets like someone who tells him to go for it. Just go. Don't be afraid. If you go and seek what you want, the universe is is gonna try to help you out. Like the universe is gonna give you signs, you know? So yeah, it's just her, his journey to find treasure and then he finds love and then, it was cute though. It was just a lot of profound moments. But yeah, I was reading it on the airplane going to California and I was like, oh! And like all the, all the post-its on it. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, people yeah. next to me was probably like, what is she doing? <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty easy to read though. Is it but, a fiction or a non-fiction? It's fiction. It's like the first, you know, like classic that I have read really so far. I tried reading the 1984 and I'm still reading it. <laughs> it's pretty, um, it's, it's a big read. For, for me, at least. It's a small book, but it's a big read. <laughs> and then, oh, I read this book, and I know I would never, ever, ever recommend it to you. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't know. Is this how, how this works? Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Yeah, stay away from that, Indy. <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's like a guy who has a girlfriend and um, he's like a musician and then this girl who lives across from his apartment building who listens to him play his music on the balcony she <clears throat> she finds out that her boyfriend has been cheating on her with her roommate yeah so like now she has no place to live because of course she's not going to be living in that the apartment and then the musician guy builds this friendship with her and so she ends up going to his apartment and, and then like she starts writing lyrics for for him and so they live together and well, and then is he like in a long distance with his girlfriend or what they're in a oh. long distance relationship and like they've been together ever since they were teenagers okay yeah, it was really, really... So, does he break up with his girlfriend eventually? Okay. <laughs> this is the thing that got me so pissed off. And I was like, when I was reading this, I was like, for sure, Indy cannot read this. <laughs> because, okay, the um, I temporarily do. It's, it's kind of like that, you know? Like, it wasn't cl a clear breakup, but he treated it like a breakup. Okay. You know? So. Yeah, this one was not like that. That's why when you were talking about that, I was like, oh, it's kind of similar. You know, they, they have to live together. And yeah, this one was like, there was this one moment where uh, they got drunk together. Like they, they become friends, like the girl and then the girlfriend become friends. And so there was a party and they got drunk together. And so both of them just slept on the on his bed because... Okay, <laughs> wait. 
both of the girls got drunk together. Well, I mean, like, it was a party, and both of them got super drunk. And they knew who each other was, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. The main girl knows that that's the girlfriend that he loves with his whole entire heart. And then, so, like, they get drunk, and then they're sleeping on his bed. And then he walks in, and he's like, here I am, standing in my bedroom, looking at both halves of my heart. And I'm like, ugh! Oh, oh God! <gasps> oh. <laughs> I hated that. I hated that so much. The ending was. The he ending chooses was, one, right, over the other, chooses, or no? Okay. He chooses one. Yes, he chooses one. But I mean, <laughs> that whole, but that was like probably eighty percent of the book. They're writing lyrics for the music, and then oh, and also he's deaf. So when they're writing music. And she's like trying to sing the songs. He has to like feel her singing it, and like it's very, very intimate. And he has yeah. a girlfriend, and so like the whole time, I was. And then like the girl was like, "Oh, I, I can't do this with him." But then he goes, she goes, "But it feels so right." And it's like. <sighs> oh, I, I don't think I could read that. No, <laughs> that yeah, so even I almost like stopped, completely stopped. But I but I bought the audiobook for it for like 15 bucks. So I'm like, <gasps> oh no. No. <sighs> so you had to finish it. I mean, you don't want to sp- waste your money. <laughs> no, I I couldn't waste my money. <laughs> I mean, like the the author Colleen Hoover is supposed to be like super super good. I have another um, book of hers, and she usually writes very um, emotional um, romances. I have another one. It ends with us, but I haven't. I don't know if I want to cry. You no, know, wait. I think I feel like I downloaded a book that she wrote. She did. Did I? Yeah, Heart Bones. <laughs> I didn't read it yet. I think that's her newest one. Her newest yeah. one. Yeah. But this one I have, and anyways, maybe someday. I mean, like, the guy was super cute. I mean, like, his character was super cute, except for that. Like, oh, two halves of my heart. I still can't get over it. You, I mean, <laughs> yeah. You can tell already. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I read The Sun and Her Flowers, and it's a poem, po- poems, it's poems by Rupi Kaur. Oh, I, I heard about that. Oh, nope, that's not, I'm almost done, but it's really good. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of profound moments, too. But yeah, I like it. Like, it's my first time reading really, like, a book poetry. that's poetry. Poetry! There you go! I was like, poem? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm still trying to finish Stars of Fortune. <clears throat> fortune? Fortune? Or Fortune? How do you say that? <clears throat> fortune? What? I say it Fortune. fortune. Oh. Okay. How is that? It's it's cute so far, but <laughs> I'm only like this, this much in. Okay, so the artist, she's a part of six people. And right now, they're only at four people. So they, the story haven't really picked up. What do you mean? Like, she's part of six people. She's... The characters that she uh, painted, there's six of them. So her and then five others. And I think they they just met the fifth person. So, I mean, it hasn't really, like, lifted off yet. And they're supposed to be finding this star. It's a star of fortune. (laughs) (laughs) Each and every one of them were already on the quest to find this star. I guess she is bringing them all together because she's a seer. The main girl is a seer. She dreams and like sees uh, visions and stuff. It's cute. So how's the romance? Is it like... There's not much yet. There's a connection. There's chemistry between them and they're already like starting to care for each other. And then there's this one part, they picked up um, the fourth guy, their car was full. And so the other girl was that was driving was like, hey, you gotta sit on his lap because we don't have any um, room. You gotta sit on the new guy's lap. And then the, the main 
guy was like, nope, he's taking the back, she'll sit on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, he's already like my territory, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cute. I mean, at least it's not like non-existent, you know? No, no, no. It's there. It is. Yeah, that's, that's it. Besides the ones that we are reading together. <laughs> So which one, which one are you going to talk about first? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's probably going to take the longest because... Longest? <laughs> Where to even start? <laughs> We're late in this hating game. Late to the game. No, I don't know. <laughs> We're late into reading the hating game. I didn't even know, but I... It was so good. It was Love so it. Good. <laughs> because now I'm going to be comparing a lot of contemporary romance to this book. I feel yeah. like. Oh, I didn't. I thought I put in. No, I had no time to annotate in this book or put any post-its because I was just like, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. No, that's how I was like. I mean, can I even pick one part that I really like? I like the yeah. whole thing. <laughs> I know. It was cute. Oh. I know. I'm always like chasing the feeling that I got from this one. Like, uh -huh. I want to read more just to feel like how I felt with this one. You know what? This is like something that I would read again. Like, yeah, I liked definitely. it that much. I would read it again. <laughs> it was so, I think the, like the characters were so good. I, yes, it was just so fun. Like, I didn't like I didn't realize how much fun I had when I was reading this. <laughs> like, I couldn't stop reading. I couldn't stop. Oh, I know. Oh my goodness! I can't <laughs> believe you read it all in one one sitting. Well, no, <laughs> no, I didn't. Like I said, like I read, I read until the good part, and then I went to sleep, mm. and then I woke up and finished the rest. That's what I did too. <laughs> I think I had like I had like seventy pages or so. Which character did you like the the most? The girl or the the guy? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I like them both equally. Like I really liked her at the end. She was so good at the end. I don't know. Gumption. But I mean, I like him too because he was like. I don't know. He was well mannered. He didn't want her just. She, he didn't want her to want him, just for his body. You know, like she wants. Yeah. He wanted her part too. So yeah, like he he wanted he wanted love. Yeah, Not just physical attraction and physical. Yeah, it was really cute. Ooh, when he said he needed days. Oh, I know. I was like, please. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean like it was you know it didn't happen a lot right it didn't yeah, happen it did. a lot like it, it wasn't well it wasn't described a lot but it like it was so steamy still I don't know yeah. but, it was wow it was steamy without being erotic erotic yeah yeah, yeah. well yeah you know the elevator scene <laughs> yes the elevator <laughs> I don't even know okay that was like was wow. Wow. I, I, mean, like, I saw it coming, but I was just like, wow. <laughs> yes, that was amazing. It was so cute. Like, and how in the end, she, he was like, I never hated you. Like, <laughs> Yeah, like from the beginning. Like, oh, goodness. The one thing that I was trying to look forward to was his um, planner slash marks. Yeah. Like, I wanted yes. to know so bad. <laughs> <laughs> what was it about? And then it, they explained it. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> it's gonna be in the video. <laughs> okay. Man, it's so hot. Here. Baby. <laughs> no, it's getting Ooh, warm in here. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, like I knew, I knew it was about her. <laughs> the planner. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know. It was like for sure about her, but like, what about what? Her? Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I just wanted to know what it was like. What ticks? You know, what are the ticks? Yeah, okay. What was it again? The D is when she wore a dress. 
dress or skirt. Oh yeah, D for dress, S for skirt, and then, and then tally marks. It was like when they argued or when she smiled at other people. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was jealous. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> It was so sad. Right? It's like, so funny though. Like, I she, love their games. Yes. Yeah. And it was a little awkward at first because I was like, if they're supposedly like hating each other, why would they stare at each other? Like, you know, because they, they yeah. have a staring game. And I'm like, that's a little awkward. But I guess <laughs> it's like pride, you know, like, yeah. I'm just, yeah. So. But he was doing it. Because he liked her. He wanted but, to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> name? Joshua. Yeah. Oh, 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 you haven't gotten the, the next book yet, right? Okay, you have to tell me about it. Like, oh, I can't, I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> I can't. I need you okay. to read it. Cause... Okay, without spoiling it, can you tell me, like, what to expect? Like, no, I'm gonna. I know it's it. cute. What? <laughs> Please. Yeah. Okay. Is it a time skip? And how big of a time it is. skip? It's a time skip, maybe a, a year. A year? Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of read like when you sent me a shot of. Oh, I know. Shot. But that, like, that wait, that first I, could, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell if it's like mm -hmm. you know, it was it right after the book ended or like. Oh, okay, so it is. It's a it yeah. cute though, it's and so it's even cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I didn't even know that it had an epilogue in the second book, but <clears throat> I was trying to, I wanted to read another contemporary romance, and I was like, okay, I'll just try another one of her books. Okay, wait, nice when did it. you buy it though? Did, when did you buy this one? Was it huh? a while ago? <clears throat> a while ago. Oh. I, um, I bought this on Book Outlet. It's like the the discount. Oh, you! I told you about Book Outlet. They have. But is it is it like new? Is it? It's this. I mean, I know. Is it like new or is it used? <laughs> it was. It was perfectly fine. It was like new when it came to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like there was no. Um, the thing I, I just don't like about used books, you know, sometimes when you find those nasty grease stains inside and I'm just like, Ugh. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god. Please. No. <laughs> uh, the historical romances that I bought at the used bookstore, I literally have like, um, there's this one that had like hot Cheeto grease. Oh no, no. <laughs> I hate that. That's why, that's why I, I can't buy like books for personal reading used. Like, I don't care about textbooks because I usually don't, like, I only rent them and then I return them anyway, so I don't care, whatever. But you know, like, I always find like something like crusty <laughs> or something <laughs> gross and like, I can't, I can't stand to like, put my finger at that same spot because that's usually the spot I hold the books in anyways, yeah. you know? So then I'm just like, I can't. Gross. When, yeah. I, when I was reading it, I was like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like wet and it's like, you know, the part where it gets steamy and it's Yeah. Gross. Oh no, 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 I can't do that. So the hating game. <laughs> okay, what else do we want to say about the hating game? <laughs> <laughs> the pace of reading it. I was reading like triple time. I think it's because it was just fun. Like I really enjoyed it. Like, I really, really it was funny, it. and I was just like, I couldn't get enough of their antics. <laughs> yeah, like I couldn't, I couldn't wait to see what was next. I was like, okay, I'm gonna keep reading and reading, and then I just never stopped. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I usually read super, super slow. Like, I take my time, but this one, I definitely flew through it. I'm like the opposite. I like, wow. I like to read fast, but I only read slow if like it's not getting to me like yeah. mm -hmm. like you know it's hard to picture and it's like i'm not into it yet you know what that's probably why i'm reading a lot slower because i'm used to like fantasy with mm. fantasy books i read a lot slower yes I put, I put myself in into that yes 
Yes, I agree. I agree, though. I'm, I would also read slower for fantasy. A lot. <laughs> like, with this. Yes! Yes! That's what I wanted to say. I was so slow. I took off I took off the, the thing, too, when I was reading. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I put it... Oh, you're breaking up. Back Hello? on. Because I'm... Oh no! I'm done. <laughs> Going in and out. Can you, okay. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Is it better now? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know you were kind of paused for a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, for this one, um, the first hundred pages. Okay, before it got to that part, you mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about? That part. It was so hard to read for me, and it took me, like I told you, I, th I tried to read it, mm -hmm. and it took me like two weeks to, <laughs> to finish, to get to that part. And then once I got to that part, like, I blew through it. I know! I was yes. like, so Amy, where are you in the book? And you're like, oh, I'm finished. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I like, yeah. Like, two days ago. Okay, after I got over that part, I read it in like two, two and a half days or something. Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness, you went through it was quick. so fast. Yeah. Hey, I'm still stuck. I'm still like right here. But I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> in my in my mind, I already finished it. <laughs> but <laughs> on paper, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want to know the story, then you'd have to read the whole thing because um, a lot happens and like I know, I know, a lot it doesn't happens. stop happening. Yeah, because so. there's this one part they said it like in the pages that I did read in the end. <laughs> wait, what? I was like, wait, yes. what? Like but when I, did that happen? <laughs> I was like, I just want to know right now. I'll go back and and read through, it, and I will. I promise. Okay. <clears throat> so my question for you is, because I haven't, well, I started reading um, A Court of Thorns and Roses, but mm -hmm. like the first three pages, only the first three pages. Okay. But I mean, what do you think? Like, I can already tell though, like this is more for adults than the other one. Like the writing in the other one is like so mild compared to the writing here. Oh, oh definitely. <laughs> but what do you think of people saying that this is more more smutty than a quarter of the roses, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna say <laughs> no, it is not. A quarter of the roses, they even said that they were gonna um, remarket it as a, an adult or a new new adult, is that? Yeah, I think they're gonna remarket it as new adult because it's definitely not YA. Mm -hmm. Like they were saying, like there's no way that the trilogy is YA. There's no way. <laughs> um, but I think writing style, definitely, it's a lot more, uh, what is it, comprehensible. Those yeah. Court of Thorns and Roses. A lot more. It's so much easier. It's just like plain to see, you know? I got, I got that by reading it. So then when I was reading the first three pages, I was like, okay, I get it because the writing does, you know, it resembles YA, but I didn't get through the story yet, so I don't know how the story progresses. That's why I was asking you, like, in terms Honestly, of what people have been saying. They what? said that this one is more, and you know by reading it, and I already told you what happened. It was... No. No. <laughs> maybe, maybe in the next books, you know. Probably for sure in the next books, probably. but in this one, like, no. I have but to say, happen. for the first book, it, it's, I'm going to say the second book is definitely the one that's more R. Yeah. <laughs> the second book. But the first one still has, the first one is like a, a, a romance. Oh, Indy, I don't want to, like, <laughs> I don't want to ruin it though. Oh man, like the beginning. When you start from the beginning and then the middle, it like, and then the, the ending, <laughs> like the last 
third of the book is so, so much. Yeah? Like, I mean, are we talking about the same thing? About no, 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 no. No, not like, oh. like plot wise and like, oh, okay. Yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to like ruin it for you at all because it's, j just enjoy it. <laughs> okay. So it's enjoyable. It's enjoyable, definitely. <laughs> and it's surprising. like so, so easy to read, just like you said. Yeah. And, and like getting immersed into Prithian. It was okay. one of the best parts of like the books, I think. The world building is cute. It's nice. Speaking of world building, like, oh. <sighs> like I don't even know where to start. Like, like I said, it's like those first couple pages, you know, when you're trying to get a sense of that world. Like, I don't, I still don't even know, like, half of the creatures they're talking about in here. Like, there were just so many, many. So many. Like, I wish there was an appendix or, like, a glossary of terms or something, like, just to explain what each of it was. Like, the only thing they gave was that little hierarchy thing, the house, the different houses. But I'm like, okay, well, half of the creatures on here, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know yeah. what they are. <laughs> so, it was so hard. That's, that's why it was so hard for me to get over it. There but then, like, of information in the first 50 pages mm -hmm. i was like 50 pages of different things right right and then you when once you hit the the start of the plot that's when it's like easier to read it becomes more clear oh my goodness yes i wrote down there was one part um page 385 where hunt carried her and they were flying they were flying and it was raining and it was like, Hunt was like, oh, I love it up here. It's ri especially when it's raining because you see everyone at the bottom or something. And all of the descriptions, it didn't connect to me. Like it was just word. A lot. I feel, I feel like a lot of the descriptions didn't connect to me in this book. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. The way she described it, it was just hard, hard to get wrap my head around it i don't know yes. that's how i felt when i was reading it yeah mm -hmm. that's exactly how i felt i was like this is hunt's like favorite thing and he doesn't say that things are his favorite you know like he never says it he seldom says things that he enjoys and this is one thing and then i didn't feel it i was like oh is that enjoyable is that his favorite part you know like i don't know there was a lot of yeah i didn't it yeah didn't... Well, I... when a Court of Thorns and Roses, like the descriptions and like the places in that world, it was just so like, I want to be there so bad. I want to see it with my own eyes. Like I want to stand on the mountain and like see all of this. Oh my goodness. That's how it was for A Court of Thorns and Ro Roses. And in this one, I was expecting that. It was not. I like the story. Like I like... This story is definitely good. This one. Like it's, yeah. It's, it's interesting. Like, once you get over that barrier, <laughs> once you get into the story, like, into the story, yeah. then and it's, it's, easy, like, it's easy after that incident. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After that incident, it's easy. But, yeah. yeah, like you said, a lot of the descriptions, I don't know if it's because I'm not familiar with this kind of world or, like, just the way she describes it. I don't know. It was just, it's hard. To it's picture. like, I mean, this is only the first book, so we don't really know exactly. But <laughs> so, oh, it's so bad because I am so comparing the two, like <laughs> A Court of Thorns and Roses and this. In the second book of A Court of Thorns and of A Court <laughs> of Thorns and Roses, the um. There's a circle, there's like, you connect with other characters too. And in this one, I didn't really connect with anyone except for, you know, um, what's her, what's her name, Quinn? What's her name? Oh my gosh, it's Bryce. 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 <laughs> Bryce Quinlan. I didn't, <laughs> um, I didn't really connect with anyone except for Bryce, Hunt, and then maybe um, her, her brother, Rune. Yeah. Yeah, I connected with him too. But like, that's it. Like, no one else. I mean, like, in the beginning. Definitely. I know. I know. 
Oh, I felt it. I was like, I did. I, I did. Too. I don't want to I, I was. I I was feeling it like, and then I I I had to read the synopsis again because I was like, Are you sure? Like like yes. how does it happen? It's not. Same here. Like, not how part of it. it go on? Yeah, I was like, how is it? How does it happen? And then when it happens, I was like, oh. I was like, wow. Like, I guess it it had to happen somehow because like, how could she not? You know, how could she not? You know. I know. <laughs> how could she not? So, oh my god. So when. Oh. When it happened, I was like, that's how she did it. I was like, wow. I can't. I, I was really looking forward to it. Like, it would have been magical. <laughs> I know. It was just, you know? I even wrote it on here. I was like, the what if in this is so strong. I'm so mad. <laughs> yeah. And then you're not going to get it again. You know, it's like, no. there. Or do you? But anyway so beautiful though it is oh, yeah <laughs> i was like trying to you know how i i make um bookmarks oh my goodness where is it <laughs> did you just draw the moon <laughs> I was, i'm like i can't i can't yeah it's blank right now because i can't the tell what's the red right. background and the yellow moon yeah, in the middle. It's like a red a red um red line strip. <laughs> the yellow moon <laughs> That's probably what I'm gonna do. Because I was contemplating, I was like, "Oh, should I try to try to do that?" And then I was like, "Nope." <laughs> there were just so many things, though, like um, the terms, the drop, and then the SPQM, and like uh, I still don't know what SPQM stands for. <laughs> and then I wrote it down. I I searched for it. it Senatus. Populist Midgard or the Midgard Senate and People. Okay. So I it's get it. like the officials of Midgard. Midgard. Yeah. yeah. It's so good though. I still I still really liked it, but it is like hard. It it was a hard read for me. Yeah. It was a hard read. I agree. <sighs> but I think it's still worth it. Mm -hmm. And I cannot wait what and how she's going to um take this direction to or where she's gonna take it like what I know I know because you read the <laughs> ending right <laughs> yes I did <laughs> I and I'm I'm kind of hoping because you know how there's a different houses mm -hmm. and then, um her her family's part of a different house I mean her dad mm -hmm. like I'm hoping to see more of the brother and yes. the I like him <laughs> <laughs> and the the other part like the Wait, brother's okay. romance uh, mm -hmm. did yeah. you read that part yet and do you know who it is I I, I read like a little hint of it and I kind of knew the nurse right or like the like, yeah nurse, right yeah okay yeah and but I, <laughs> I want to spoil it so bad <laughs> okay I won't huh you know? I no, do you want to know? I want to know. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Like, I knew it already. Like... What? It's obvious, though. That it's his betrothed. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and I really like her. I mean, like, she doesn't get... She doesn't get enough parts in it, I think. Mm -hmm. But I really like her. I like her. So it is the, the witch doctor, right? The witch doctor is his betrothed. Also, like, the new queen. Yeah, huh? of the witches. She's a new queen. Yeah. Oh, did you get? Didn't you get to that part where the dad was telling him about his betrothed? Yeah. Well, yeah. She's the queen. Oh, the witch doctor. She's the is new. The queen? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. No, I knew it because they were, you know, like she never told her. She never told him her name, and then, like, you know, it's so obvious. I was like. It is, it is, and it is. I did not and then, get that, but I am so happy. It is, and I like her, like, I like her character a lot. Like, she's, 
she's good. She's one of the good guys. Yeah, and she's very knowledgeable too. So it's like she's smart. Yeah, so it's, it's enjoyable to see a strong, strong woman character. But oh, you just have to keep reading. That's why you have to keep reading. I'm sorry. Because yeah. like I don't know, she doesn't. She doesn't seem like that. I think. I don't know if she likes someone else. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you have to read it. You have to read it to know what I'm talking about. But there's like so many, there's just like so much going on in this world. Like I'm, I'm excited to see where the next books are going to because mm -hmm. there's so, so many things, like so many kingdoms and so many people. And it's That's like, a lot. you know how we like, like the main guy or like the, the protagonist to be like the powerful guy. And there are just so many, so many mm -hmm. guys. Like, yeah. Characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm excited to see like how, <clears throat> in what direction she's gonna put it. I mean, yeah. So, where are you in this? Okay, I'm on. I got. I got pretty far. Oh and wow! I just, like, oh, wow. Started, yeah. Um, I'm on chapter twenty, and I have. 20? What like, happened? I'm, um he basically he just told her that you know her dad's a vampire he's a vampire and then like she just saw it and then it just ended at their second scene you know their second scene <laughs> <laughs> the second the second time it happened and he was like wanting her blood so <laughs> my question and he is kind of like pushed Pushed her yeah, away. Yeah, pushed her away. My question is mostly about Marissa. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I know I read the spoilers already. So, does it happen in this book when, <laughs> when he lets her go? When he chooses Beth as his Shellen and then lets Marissa go? Does it happen in this book? Mm -hmm. oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> I just can't because like I'm like, you should. <laughs> I don't. I don't want her. I don't want him to keep sucking her blood. <laughs> Does he go to her after that incident? Okay. Yeah, so you obviously. Yeah, so I don't want the spoiler. <laughs> I don't know if I can stand Marissa right now. <laughs> to the part where he sucked her. No, not yet. He. The after their second time. And then, like, he was thirsty. Mm -hmm. Does he, he goes to Marissa after? No? Yeah. Okay. But, and, I will tell you, that was the last time. Okay. But he doesn't do anything with her, right? I mean, he, he hasn't before. Okay. <laughs> and it's just here, or is it here? <laughs> I'm like, is it here, or is it here? <laughs> Oh, it's here. Oh my god. Indy, it's very, very, you're, you're like right there. I know I am, but I it's like... right there. I hate how it goes from their scenes and then it goes to the drama part. Oh, I hate that. Oh, uh, that I, but I, I almost want to just skip to the chapters where I know it's them. It's like, just them, yes. Do I, do I do that? Or, <laughs> like, I can't I stand it. all the politics stuff or all this war stuff. Like, yeah. I, I did that because I'm like, okay, this next chapter is not. I was like, okay, how long do I have to go to get back to them? <laughs> That's what I've been doing, but I'm like, oh. Shouting out like Beth and Beth and Rath. Beth and yes. Beth. Yes. Yeah, that part I didn't like either. Like the part with um, with Mr. X. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, yeah. And Butch. Don't hate on Butch too much. Just saying. Okay. I mean, I, I get it. I wasn't going to. I feel like he's going to be in on it. You know, like, they're he's going to help them somehow or something because of her. I read the synopsises for every single book of the, the series, though. Wow. There's so many. I can't believe you did that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is the series even over? Isn't there like I don't think so. I don't know how she can keep going and going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. Like what is what is it even about? It's about the brotherhood and like the the um the race. Because okay, I'm like there's only there's only six 
there were six and now there's five there's more is there like more but, the but later on in the book it says that um wrath admits that he needs help so he's gonna try to recruit mm. and what we don't know is that there were actually a lot more of the <clears throat> in the brotherhood but some were like kicked out and some are like the the relatives of but yeah there's a lot the books are not just them four but i some of them have repeat stories though just like how wrath and beth has the king um i know a couple of others get a second a second book is that like the king the end of beth and wrath's story i mean i know they appear in like a couple of the other books in between this one mm -hmm. and the king but like after the I king think, i feel like, like the king is probably like they're real happily ever after though you know like they're real settled really settled so i don't know if they're they're probably gonna be in in like other books just making an appearance as i feel like if there's just so many and it's really dramatic i mean i it's fine I, I like it i'll read it but i don't know if i can take 20 books of like this drama i i no, already I don't know some some of the books that are like in the later ones though i want to know what happens yeah like who is yeah. it even about <laughs> indeed <laughs> no there's like there's a spoiler Just tell me, I already... there's, um can i tell you that her dad Gary, is not dead he gets reincarnated. How does that even happen? You know the scribe virgin. <clears throat> you know how she can create life and like. Mm -hmm. But it, it's not that. Well, this is. I only know this because I was reading like synopsises. To, like, <laughs> but um, so at the end of this book, it, it does um, have Darius in it. And so the scribe virgin says, okay, you could go and meet your daughter because he never really got to meet her. But he would have no recollection of who she is. Is he so still he would... reincarnated as a vampire or? Yeah. But I, I want to know what happens. Okay, you tell me and let me know. I don't know, like, I just realized I mean, I love, I, I like vampire stuff, but it's, their world is so dramatic. <laughs> vampire worlds like are yeah. so yeah. dramatic. Like, <laughs> I think you should just stick with Faye. <laughs> I know, that's why, that's why. No, because I, I was reading um, the one that I still haven't finished yet. I still haven't finished what? it yet. Oh, the discovery. Yes, I was. I started reading it again. Maybe I read like ten more pages from where I left off. <laughs> no, yeah. But I mean, like, I liked it. I liked it, but it's just so dramatic, you know. <laughs> so I can't. Like, I didn't finish, and I'm still there. With me, I'm just gonna make it like a New Year's resolution. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it. <laughs> With me, it was easier because I I watched the series, so I knew the characters and what they look like uh, I mean like I could picture them you know so it made me it made it easier for me to get into the the world and the, the story but yeah <laughs> wait so what book are you on I'm on the second one and I'm on the part where they meet um, that creepy church guy mm. um, I don't know they're still in I don't know if it's London they're still there. They're still back in time. And then... Yeah. Um, but they're there the whole book. Yeah, they're looking for um, a witch to help her. Help train her. But that's why, I mean, I know I'm going to like it a lot. But it's like, I'm not ready for the drama yet. <laughs> I think that's what it is with the with the vampire stories. Like, the second book didn't have that much drama. No? With that church guy? <laughs> well, that church guy sounds like drama. That's why I was like... Mm. Oh, I just want to get, weird. yeah. But church guy, he's actually pretty good. He's not a bad guy. He just sounds like a bad guy, but he's not a bad guy. Mm 
Okay. Okay. Well, that that. So just don't worry about him. <laughs> okay, I won't worry about him then, because he's like the biggest threat right now, and I'm just like, <sighs> like so much, you know. Just keep reading. <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta finish this first, and then I gotta, I gotta push through to read. I know, but I know now. I know how. I know how you can stop reading a book because I'm I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> like I've yeah, I've been right. starting books, and then I'm like, okay, I, I can't I can't get into this right now. Let me let me give something else and then yeah, get it's back a to mood it. Mood read, that's why it is. Read. Yeah, and mm -hmm. there's really no way to go about it. Just read what you feel like you want to read, and everything's fine. It's fine. Well, for me, like it is a mood read, but if I know how I have to read it, like. Once I start getting into it, like, I can't stop. Then, you know, like, I, I keep reading, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> but it's like those first, those first, like, 50 to 100 pages, really, like, you have for a book, that's, you have to give, like, those 50 to 100 pages a chance first. And then, yes. like, when you get into the story, that's when you'll get into the book. But yeah. it's like, it's hard though. Sometimes it's hard so just to hard. finish those first pages. That's why because I'm just it's like. Not, it's not too many things that are interesting happen. It's literally just building up to it. And like, yeah. Yeah. Usually it's like the world building, and not a lot of times those really capture you. Yeah. I get it. But not the hating game. No, not the hating game. That was like. I fell in love with in the first couple pages already. I'm just like, this is too funny. Like, even if they were like enemies in the beginning, I was like, oh, I can't get enough of their games. It's just like, I know. who does it? I read the the reviews that people don't like it because like they're immature and stuff. But I'm like, okay, first of all, I don't read the books. I don't read books so that they're realistic. I read them for the enjoyment. I'm like, you know, like how, how fun the book is or, or how how interesting the story is so yeah. like you know ridiculous characters like that like i love those are they're just so they're funny characters. yeah <laughs> yeah like you don't expect them to be real and that's you know i think that's what the author is just trying to write about like funny people like doing crazy things that's why that's why why are you reading i know like why are you reading romance then romance is ridiculous like yeah. i love it <laughs> i love it because it's so like so stupidly funny like yeah that's why a lot of the times like even if the reviews are not like super top score i'll still like give it a chance you know and yeah it's really personal preferences Preference. mm -hmm. someone's mm -hmm. like review is not your review so yeah yeah but. that's why I, I really have to read the synopsis I mean I read the reviews a little just to see like yeah to see what people think but if it's something ridiculous how they're judging the book because like mm -hmm. you know it's because they don't like the characters because they're too crazy they're not realistic yeah. like they're they're like kids or whatever like I don't I don't listen to those, but I do I like, like when they're like valid though. Like people can warn other people. Mm -hmm. like, oh, this book has this. You might yes, it just like me. But yeah, know. that that's that's why I read reviews because sometimes it's true. It's like, oh, this character was just so like um, so annoying. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this character is like she's so intolerable, like or something, you know, like or the guy is like this, and I can't stand it then um then i'll i'll listen to those reviews because i like good characters you know like i yeah. like characters that um they need to be are not annoying mm -hmm. oh yeah so, and that's that's why we use that as one of the criteria yeah because i mean that's pretty important at least to us uh -huh. it's very important to have likable characters and the plot too like, even if the author's style is a little bit, you know, iffy, but if the plot is good and interesting, we'll still get through it. Yeah. <laughs> and enjoy it. What else are we talking about? That's it? Oh, did we finish this? I get pretty, like, possessive of the characters, too. Like, they have to stay together and not see other people. <laughs> or if they're seeing other people. Only one like, true love. Yeah, or if, they're, if they see other people at one point, like, it's got to be even, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, okay. I did buy that um, 
<clears throat> Duke one that you're talking about. Oh, bringing down the Duke. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I want to read. The, I think it's about like the women's suffrage. It seems okay. cute. Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> it's like historical, but then it's like in a contemporary paperback. Yeah, format. I I like that. It's cute, like but now I don't know where to put it, <laughs> like on my shelf, because I have the historicals in one area and then the contemporary. You just have to start another shelf. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to arrange. I think I'm just going to do it, like, by height. <laughs> by height. I did, I did by, I like, in alphabetical order. <laughs> I do alphabetical order, but, like, in its specific genres i stopped my subscription for on patreon because oh. i haven't been reading them as much so i was like i'm gonna stop for now and then i'm just gonna buy books <laughs> Dude, <laughs> but it's, not... use that money to buy books <laughs> yeah. and because i read through them so quickly i'm just like yeah. i felt so weird not ordering anything for like the prime day the buy three i didn't buy anything the Target deal is better, though, I think. Because, yes, because it's everything. Yeah, because it's buy two, get one free. And then the Prime deal, I don't know which price they take it off of because it's basically like buy two, get one free, right? But it's yeah. buy two, buy three for the price of two. I know. I That's why I jumped on it because I was like, you know what? They don't have these deals all the time. So I need to buy the ones that I'm, I know I'm going to buy anyways. Like, yeah. so why wait if there's deals i might as well buy it while there are deals rather than wait and spend more money later <laughs> that's what i wanted to do but i feel like i have so many that i haven't read yet and then i bought some books from book outlet anyways i'll probably talk about it for the next um book haul or something <laughs> and i have so many <laughs> my next haul i don't even know you know, I love it. I, it's so sad. It's so bad because I know it's like so much money. But I know. It and brings me to my I don't even know if I want... Okay, I, I guess I... are stack. I bought all these and I read all of them already. You already did? Yeah, but I didn't include them in my... In the book haul that we just did. So... Oh, but yeah. These are all the ones... Part of my new book haul and I read them all. As you can see, I went on a contemporary binge and you'll see later I went on even more contemporary binge. I love <laughs> they're all contemporary big. I can't stop because I like it because they're, you know, like they don't really connect. Like there's no series except that one yeah. that I got. So it, 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 it like resolves everything to, in yeah. the end. And it's so light and you know like with contemporary it's usually like rom-com so I love it mm -hmm. yeah see that's what I was reading like consistently when we were doing the um, the zoom meetings with the girls and you guys are like <laughs> how are you like going through them so um, yeah because of that yeah <laughs> it's so easy and it is so like light and it just keeps you going and then you get this book finishing high like oh my goodness I finished it in a day or two I want more yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or more for me it's like chasing that feeling you know mm -hmm. that feeling that feeling that I got from feeling. the hating game this feeling like oh. Sorry about all the spoiler alerts, but we enjoyed these books so much that we had to talk about it. If you read any of the books we've mentioned, let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.